of you may know that this trade war going on between the U.S. and China is heating up. Now, the U.S. has made accusations against China in the past of being responsible for uh, the most part of all the fentanyl that is in the U.S. And, and it's really true, but China, on the other hand, is denying it. And the trade war began when Trump um, put tariffs on steel and aluminum imports. And China also put a round of tariffs in for the U.S. Now, in the past, the U.S. has made accusations that China is responsible for the opioid plague going on. China has pushed back and said they're not responsible, and the U.S. need to take responsibility for their own drug addiction. Now, right now, China has cooperated with U.S. officials in trying to control the flow of fentanyl from leaving their country and entering the U.S., and they have stopped some of it. Well, there are many now anticipating that China will completely look the other way as their drug cartels ship the fentanyl in, and they will no longer cooperate by withholding any of the packages. Many now believe that is the next step in this trade war, and it very well could happen. And China really don't care about all this fentanyl coming in because Chinese people are really not using fentanyl. So they don't give a damn, you know. Number two, the flow of fentanyl is always going to come in because, remember, Canada gets all of that fentanyl. So does Mexico and the islands. So one way or another, that drug is always going to make it into the U.S. There's no way of stopping it. But if China looks the other way while their cartels send this stuff in free fall, I tell you what, it will no longer be 500 a day. It can triple or quadruple that number of deaths per day, if that is indeed the case. Now, the U.S. have been putting in policies trying to control the flow. But as you know, many of these packages still make it in. you got all of the people that are buying off of the dark web. And those packages are being mailed straight to their houses and, and they tell you it's so many packages coming in from overseas, it's impossible to control it. And if China lets this stuff come in free fall, there is no way the U.S. seizures are going to make any difference. It's going to be so much of it coming in. Forget it. Now, they've been trying to put legislation in place for the U.S. Postal Service to have more control over um, packages that are coming in so that they can be examined for drugs. But right now it's all in vain. It's all in vain. Um, UPS and FedEx already have electronic advance um, information that they use. The US Postal Service was not required to use any type of advanced electronic information. But they're saying they believe that can change. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, FedEx and UPS are also delivering those drug packages, too. They're not catching all of them. Don't believe it when they try to tell you that they're not getting that many packages through UPS and FedEx. Yes, they are. So the measure could close a loophole that drug traffickers exploit. Um, private shippers like FedEx and UPS are required to obtain advanced electronic information on most shipment, shipments, and the Postal Service is not. But I believe the last time I did a story on this, they were saying 300 tons of packages come in from overseas. 300 tons, that's a lot of packages. There's no way. I don't care if you got the best drug sniffing dogs on the planet, you are not going to catch all of those drugs. And who's to say it all got to come in from China? They can ship it from India and many other nations. So we shall see. We shall see if China goes after um, the fentanyl and say we are no longer going to watch what comes into the U.S., 
That's going to be a huge problem for this country that's already struggling with a two decade long drug addiction and opioid deaths that just continues on. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.